I see so many women in their 40s, sometimes 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, who lament that they have become invisible. And I'm like, oh, that is because, and I say this, I understand this, but they've chosen to quarantine or compartmentalize or dim their allure. It's compensatory. It's like if we're not willing to be felt in our allure because it can be scary and because it's vulnerable, then we start buying into that story. I will tell you, my teacher is 87 years old crinkly thing, little thing. She wears the ear, um, what are the hearing aids? And she literally like puts her ear up <laughs> to the screen thinking she's going to hear me speak louder. <sighs> she has always a lover. She's been married three times. She's not interested ever in being married again. But she says over and over again, she's not willing, like she doesn't want to be alive on this planet without her body being made love to. And when she walks into a room, you feel her. She is rendered feelable by the level of penetrability and vulnerability. She lets herself be felt as a wizened, <laughs> 87 year old uh, woman with her desire intact, with her desire intact. That's so much of our allure is coded in being in right relationship to our desire and being in approval of our nature. 